Hello everyone and welcome back to Endless Space. So I was given some more advice about what I should be researching, which I think I'll get into next turn after this is done. Um, and actually, let's, let's do that right now. There we go, research is complete. And instead of uh, grabbing this right now, which is going to take seven turns, I'm going to get... Um, I already got that, but I'm going to get soil xenobiology for the alien grafting, which I can put on as a planetary exploitation, which should be pretty good. And I think I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get this, the refineries. So that's only going to be two turns, not that much of a sidetrack from getting the extreme metallurgy. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And let me check here. We have... Right, 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 so that's being built, and that's being built there, and again, I'm not sure if I really want to build it here or not. That would give us three additional research here. If we ever actually get to colonize barons, I guess it would be pretty good too. Hmm... So basically right now I'd be trading three research for two dust. Eh, sure, why not? Why not? Okay, let's move our ships. And then we will send there we go. So let's see, what is what is here? We have dust water. We have red sang. Which gives us a food and two dust per person on planet, plus two percent per dust per red saying on empire. Hmm. Ooh, hostile dust. Minus two energy on the planet. Well, you can't even get that anyway because it's tundra. And then here we would get plus three dust and plus two research. Ooh. Man. That'd be pretty good. So many cool planets to colonize that I don't have enough hive ships for. Let's um, let's go up here. Hello? There we go. He's going. Okay. Research is complete. Let's go to... Wait, what? I thought I selected soil xenobiology. What the heck? Oh, that was finishing. Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, we'll close and not much else to do, so end of the turn. Alright, now we'll go on to Inway Fusion Plants to get that industry building. We'll move our ships, which are well, actually our ship. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's going to take another turn to get there. These three are still producing the research center. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's going to be done in a turn anyway. Okay, so after this, I think I will make the, um, this, I guess. How much will it take to 126? Let's do that because I want um, this sustainable farms uh, as quick as possible to try and get our population up. And this one has 14 more turns. Are you kidding me? Sure, yeah, I will spend the dust. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, dismiss and in turn. So yeah, I guess I should have been starting with these buildings in the very beginning, but this is my first playthrough, so these are things I just don't really know yet. But now I do. Alright, so now with that done, I guess we now have the basics of the the four pillars, if you will, of our economy. And with that done, do I go back to metallurgy? Let's kind of explore a little bit more. So this is a planetary exploitation, which would give us plus two industry on a planet per person. Which we kind of already have. Maybe ours, the one that we have right now, is um, only plus one per person? Aha! Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know, actually, I wonder if I should... I should probably do this. Because, like I said, I need our population to grow. And then when it's at max, then I can switch it out. Okay. And then after that, we'll do the star system improvement. And then after that, we'll do the industry. I don't care about that yet. Okay. On her, her, however you want to pronounce it, we'll pick up the food, the industry, and... I guess then we'll grab that. Let me go in here. What's my... It's research. I guess we should probably keep that. It would take 10 turns to change it. Yeah, sure. We'll just keep that. Okay. And then in Mantarka. Boom. Boom. Just keep that the same, I guess. Yeah. Then in Dakel, I'm really behind here. Okay, so we're already almost at max population. So food isn't... I don't even have an exploitation here? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Uh, what do we want to do here? We want science. So we'll grab that. Close. We'll grab that industry and then food because uh, again we're already almost at max population so I don't think the food is going to be as important so we'll do that okay so yeah I'm, I'm assuming like all these buildings should have already been built uh, I should have grabbed all those texts in the very beginning uh, but again now I know for the future let's move our ships oh boy Oh boy. A Harmony Fleet. With 71 Kinetic and 50 Defense. Or Deflect. Oh boy. I am dead. Uh, we need to run. So, ends battle, enemy wins, deals two unopposed damage rounds, unblockable. There's no way I can win this fight. So, I think that's what we need to do. So, it doesn't really matter what we pick here and here, right? <laughs> like, just retreat? I don't know. Um, I, just, I guess do that. I'm, I'm assuming the battle ends here. So, let's do... Manual. Battle at Gnosis System. What the heck? Well, those are some odd ships. Okay. So we're getting the heck out of there. Alright. There's no sense in... Oh, that's not, that's not the way I wanted you to go. <laughs> oh, shoot. I need you to go back home. Huh. Okay. Well, that's kind of troubling, but um, we'll be okay, I think. I'll keep on ships, we'll probably be needing here shortly. I think I'll just grab this though. Okay. Um, so if they only have two ships, that's not exactly that strong. Yeah, we were defeated, I know. First contact, you... <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, yeah. Which is complete. Titanium has been identified in the galaxy. Poor um, deposit on Antares 1. Okay. And with titanium, we can produce those missiles that we have access to. And what else happened? Okay, those two buildings were built. Alright. Let's end the turn. Maybe we can fly that ship up here. We'll fly it around. <laughs> Maybe. Let's do ship movements. I'm sure it's continuing its journey. There it is. So they don't have that planet yet, or that system. You have a level up. Okay. Probably gonna want to continue to do uh, wit. Hmm. Plus 15 approval. That's probably pretty good too. Okay, yeah, now let's grab that. Alright, core tap installation. At the height of their technology, the Endless were able to tap planetary cores in order to exploit geothermal energy. Side benefits of these advanced installations including significant or included significant advance in the geological sciences as well as mining of rare minerals. Alright, so we have found yet another wonder. Now it's in forest? Core tap installation plus ten approval on planets. Okay. Well, let's um, move down there. I'm hoping we can just kind of cut. Hopefully, they don't have a fleet there and get this thing back home. But we'll see if that happens. Okay, and Darius is now on the Sustainable Farms. Very good. Hyperium has been unlocked. We found one on her five, which we cannot colonize yet. Okay, so that was core mining. What is this going to give us? Plus three improvement, but on lava. Plus 20% industry on star system. Minus, okay. Uh, probably won't be grabbing that yet. Hmm. Hmm. Plus three influence area on star system. Okay, so that's going to be the dust. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to get a fleet going, so I think I'm going to continue with extreme metallurgy to unlock that. So that we can hopefully use those. Hmm. Is that the right move? Uh, no, no, I'm going to do this. I, I, there's a lot of barren worlds out there that I want. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. Okay, we will move our ships. And check down here. Alright, still no incursion down here, but their area of influence is expanding. Okay. Let's go in here. Kinda want these done fast. How long is that gonna take? Or how much money? 150, we can we can do that. We'll do that as well. Rush those out. And then here, that's done in one turn anyway. 12 turns? Shoot. Can I cancel? Oh, I probably can't. Alright, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. And, okay, let's end our turn. Alright. Anything else we're going to do here? I don't think we're going to be building anything, so we will now convert our industry into dust? 
Or do I want to make... You know what? Let me make a hive ship. Only five turns. That is acceptable. Okay. Uh, finish our ship moves. No fight. But I think that's the home system of the Harmony, considering these don't have any influence. And that does. Okay, we will keep going. Move ships. Oh, maybe maybe that is. Max population 27. All right, let's hopefully um, find a way out. Hopefully they do not. Oh, never mind. Retreat. You have done enough work, my friend. <laughs> we must get you home. Man, their ships are crazy. They're just long crystals. What the heck? Lucky for me, though, that these guys still are focusing on kinetic weapons, so... I'm assuming they're all stuck on melee range. They can't really hit me. I don't know. I'm speaking like I understand everything about the combat. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Well, alright, let's just continue exploring then. We lost that battle. Um, everything else is still producing something, so let's end the turn. Alright, so I think Barren Worlds should now be pop um, colonizable. Okay, they're going on that. Okay, dismiss. Mercurite. Let's we'll see what that does. Void stone has been identified in the galaxy, though we don't have any deposits. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. Now with the barren worlds unlocked, now I'll go for extreme metallurgy. And see what this does and the asteroid belt so I'm not even going to be able to get it anyway uh, plus four percent ship XP per mercurite on Empire huh that's cool okay but we can get this um, barren world here but this is going to give us a disapproval rating right yes there Minus 15. Hmm. Well, I still plan on colonizing it, but maybe I'll wait for our population to go up a little bit more. And actually, speaking of, let's pump that out. And let's check this system. Okay, so we have... This was granted plus dust and plus research. That I think I definitely want to take. That I do not. But of course, our proof is going to go down. We're still pretty happy here. But it's still going to suck. Alright, um, well, let's, let's colonize. Okay. And then in here. Here. Oh, well. No, we don't really want these planets, do we? Ah, uh, just don't, don't worry about that. All right, so where is our hive ship going to go? We have the, I think there's a wonder here. The ancient ruins? No, Polaris workshop, but that's a desert. I can't do anything about it. anyway. Then the other wonder was in Botha. Stellar borer plus twenty five approval on planets. I'm gonna need to restore it. Other than that, it's not really anything crazy. But our first, I think, um, enemy to conquer is gonna be these Harmony people, so expanding this way is gonna be good, I guess. I don't know how important wonders are. I'm assuming kind of important. 
so I want to grab that. And that. Let's see, let's go here. And then once again, after the. Oh, please, no battles. Wow, look at all these things. It's a lot of resources that these people have. Huh. Okay, so after that, we are going to go back through here, and again, hopefully, we will make it home. And I'm going to end the turn. Alright, Hive Ship is done. I think I may just pop out another one. And then just pay for it. Yeah. Alright, Hangar, you're going to create a fleet, and then you are going there. Our other ship... Plus 20 approval rating and food. Hmm. This may not be bad. With the lava planet here, because the minus 15 on planet could be, is going to be um, countered by the plus 20 on this one if we expand to it, and then this could be a, a industry center, and then this planet is going to fund or produce a lot of people. I wish this was something else that, that would give us more um, industry though. But also, hmm. I think that could be a cool planet, or a cool system to take. What are our other choices? Let's see, here we have another lava with a field that gives us minus 30% upkeep on star system. I'm um, assuming that means on all of our um, buildings that we make. So that's kind of cool. We don't know what tran- or we don't have transvines yet, but oh my god, plus 40 approval on planets. That would be great. Uh, let's see, the Mercurite will give us dust and research, right. Besides that, nothing too crazy. Growth would be kind of hard in this system, I think. Hmm. And that's going to be minus 15 approval. If we manage to get this transvine, though then the negative effects of colonizing these planets would be negated by the Transvine. But still, we're not there yet. Um, Gaikon. The only one we have is a large Terran with poor soil, so that's going to be minus 10 approval. For being Terran, we would get plus 4 food. Wow, these Terran... Go figure, Terran plan planets are amazing. But the poor soil is going to negate one of our food and research. So we're getting three food, one research. And then if we get Hyperium, the Hyperium would cancel out the negative of poor soil for research purposes. Um, extra minus 30% industry cost on modules using um, Hyperium. Using Hyperium. Modules using Hyperium. Um... What uses Hyperium? Or do we even have anything? How do we do this? Okay. Um, confirm. No, I guess that's the right screen, right? Yeah, that's the right screen. Uh, so we don't have anything that uses Imperium then? Support mod- uh, no, that's not it. I don't have anything yet. Now I'm just looking to see if any of these things require Hyperium. That's Titanium. Titanium. There's gotta be something. Antimatter. Uh, 
Because when it says modules, I'm assuming it means stuff you put on your ship. Exotherum. Well, if it is something you put on your ship, it's not something we're going to have access to anytime soon, so I don't know if that planet is really a priority then. Because we already have titanium. I need to find Hexapharum, though. Do we have antimatter anywhere? Uh, I don't think I've researched any antimatter anyway. Okay, uh, let's do a ship movement. And... Is that it? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it going to be Elma then? With the coral reefs and then the possible expansion to the... Lava. I think that's what it's going to be. Because we can't even colonize deserts yet. That would be pretty cool, though. The only thing we have access to is going to be these tiny ruins. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? Some of those... Oh, wait. No, no. We do have access to t t uh, titanium right here. Okay. Ha, <laughs> Oh man, I was like, wait a minute, I'm going to need that planet because I need the titanium. Uh, but we know we don't because we have one right here. Okay. Minus 30% energy cost on modules using that. Um, so we're going to want to produce... Sorry, I know I'm kind of all over the place right now. Missile ships from here. Minus 10% industry cost per titanium on modules using titanium. Okay, so out of this system, we definitely want to be producing missile boats. I'm not quite there yet. I think I'll get into that in the next episode. But I need to figure out where I want this hive ship to go. I think we're going to go north. To Elma. Hello? Elma? There you go. You're gonna finish your journey to Batha. Oh, wait a minute. Did I just. No, no, no. Okay, that's the right ship. Okay. I was thinking this was a ship I just launched, but no, that's, that's the right one. Alright, so. Oh, right, we gotta move this guy too. So, no fights. Excellent. Let's keep you moving out of there. So, how do I repair this guy, then? Because he's just been kind of sitting there. Do I have to take him back to one of our... Let's take him back to here. I wonder if it can be an outpost or if I have to get him back to uh, a proper Empire-controlled sector. Because that's technically an outpost still. Well, I guess I'll find that out, too. Uh, so that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I'm still kind of like a fish out of water here. I kind of grasped some of the basics, but uh, obviously, you know, being my first playthrough, this, I I'm sure veterans of this game are like, man, you should be doing this, this, and this. But hopefully I'll get there eventually. Um, I think next episode I'm going to try and focus a little bit on my military and invade these Harmony guys. And hopefully bum rush them before they can get too powerful. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care.